In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can multiply two numbers, multiplication of two numbers, sum of whose last digit is 10 and the remaining digits are same. Which means, agar I have to tell you that you have to find out the multiplication of 23 and 27. In this case, if you see the last digits of these two numbers are 7 and 3 and the sum of 7 and 3 is 10. Right? And the remaining digits in this, what are the remaining digits? 2. In this, the remaining digits is 2. The remaining digits of these two numbers are same. Right? So how do you calculate the product of these two numbers? Using Vedic mathematics in a quick manner is what we are going to look at in this video. Multiply 53 and 57. If you look at them, what is the sum of last two last digit actually, not the two digits of these numbers. In 53 the last digit is 3, here it is 7. So 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. What are the remaining digits in these two numbers? In the first number if you see, the remaining digit is 5. In the second one also it is 5, here, which is same. If these two property apply, then we can very easily find out the multiple of these two numbers. Let's see how do we do it. So the two numbers are 53 and 57. We are going to divide them into two parts. Okay, the first digit which is 5 and 5, this 5 comes here, this 5 comes here. The last digit which is 3 and 7, right? The rule is very simple. As part 1, what we do is we multiply the first digit which is 5 with the next digit. Right? So just like in the previous case for square of numbers ending with 5, here also I am going to multiply 5 by 5 plus 1. Or in other words, I will multiply 5 by 6 and I get 30. As part 2, I am just simply going to multiply these two numbers. So 3 times 7 gives me 21. My answer will be nothing but this number on the left and this number on the right. 3, 0, 2, 1. Right? So if I have to explain this to you, let me use a different color to explain this particular part. If I have to explain this to you, simply what I did was I took the left number of the two digits. I kept them as it is. I took the right numbers kept them as it is. I did the product of these two, got the answer that became the right hand side of the answer. Insofar as this is concerned, I took the first number, multiplied it by the next number which comes after this. So it was 5, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, so 5 times 6 gives me 30. 30 became the left hand part of the answer. Now this was applicable when there were two digits. How about this? Can I apply the same rules over here? If you look at it, the last two digits in these two numbers are 2 plus 8. Or in other words, the sum of the last two digits is 10 in this case. What is the left hand digit left after considering these two? In 252, if I remove 2, I am left with 25. In 258, if I remove 8, I am left with 25. So in both the cases, the digits are the same. Right? I can apply the rule which I applied earlier to this case also, which is I will take 252, I will take 258. The two digits whose sum is 10 on the right hand side will be taken as it is to the right hand side, 2 times 8 or 16. The one on the left which is 25 in these cases, I will take that digit, I will multiply it with the number which is this digit plus 1 or in other words 26 right when I do 25 by 26 the answer I get is 650 so 650 will become the left part of my answer 16 will become the right part of my answer and this is what I get if I multiply 252 and 258 the answer will be 65016 now there is one point which I need to bring home over here for which I will take this additional example. 
In this case also I have two numbers 91 and 99. The sum of the last two digits in this case is 1 plus 9 or 10. 1 from here, 9 from here. The remaining digits again in this case are 9 and 9 which are same. So I can apply the rule which I saw earlier, right? So my left hand part of the answer will be what? 9 which is the number which is same multiplied by 9 plus 1 or in other words simply it is 9 into 10 or 90. My right hand side of the answer will be what? It will be 1 and 9. Multiply 1 by 9, 9. But what we need to know over here is that while 9 is a single digit, when I take it to the answer, it cannot go as a single digit. Right? Because there are two digits over here. So what I'll do is, I will prefix a 0 over here and take this 0, 9 and write it over here and this is going to be my answer. So what I mean by this is whenever you are multiplying the right hand side, if the digits which come in are single, I just need to prefix a 0 and take it to get the answer. I hope this concept is clear. If you want, you can check out for more practical questions. Solve them and check whether what we explained has been understood correctly.